are you blessing his holy name? You have seen his good hand. Thank him more and more. Magnify him. You are your next level empowerment, which he has empowered you into. Bless his holy name. Glorify him for his ever abiding presence, for answers to your prayers. As a result of the covenant hour of prayer, exalt his holy name. Tell him that you are grateful. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. We bless and we magnify your name. In Jesus Christ's precious name, we have given thanks. Amen. Testimonies, the pastors are waiting for you out there. Go and document your testimony. Have your seat. As the deep and for the water so my soul don't get out together for Jesus. Amen. Our almighty Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, now and forevermore.
Somebody shout hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus as we take our seat. This morning we are going to be starting this covenant hour of prayer with intercession. And this time we are going to be giving thanks to our father after this manner. We say father thank you for the continuous growth of this church over the years. Remember in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6, the Bible says, Paul planted a pool of water, but God is the only one that gives the increase. If you know God has done so wonderfully with us, please kindly rise on your feet with a heart of gratitude. And let's begin to show that we deeply appreciate our Father. Our Father, thank you for the continuous growth of this church over the years. From the beginning, from the time of three and a half members, Jesus Christ, we have never seen a done time. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because you have continued to grow this church. You have not allowed us to see any moment of decline in any of the services. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. We give you quality thanks. Let that heart of gratitude, let there be that heart of gratitude, the one that is speaking through you. Beginning to appreciate him, our Lord and our Savior. We thank you and thank you as a congregation, as a family. We thank you for continuous growth of this church over the years. Thank you, our Father. Yes, we know you gave the word to your servant. We thank you even for the strategies. But it's not because of the strategies but because you gave the increase, let him know we appreciate him. Do that from the depth of your heart. Remember that thanksgiving is the application for more. When we fully thank him, our thanks will yet be full. Give him quality thanks. Make sure you are doing it from the depth of your heart. Remind him that it is not because of what we do. It's not because of the growth strategies. It's not because of the outreaches. Lord Jesus, you gave the increase. You gave the increase. Let him know that he gave the increase. Our Lord and our Savior, as a family, we have come to return all glory to you that this church has never suffered a decline. In all areas, the growth has been on the increase from day one in every year. And it has been from one year to the other. Lord, we thank you this morning. Jesus, we appreciate you. We acknowledge that it is your hand. It is not because just the planting, not just because of the watering. We appreciate you for it. But Lord, we know you gave the increase. I acknowledge him. You gave the increase. The continuous growth of this church is by your hand. We have come this morning to acknowledge you, to appreciate you. Do it from the depth of your heart. Do it from the depth of your heart. Lord, we thank you for the continuous growth. That we have always seen in this church, not by any wisdom, not by the strategies, 
Lord God, by your hand, you have granted us increase, unending increase, continuous growth. We give you praise in all shapes and dimension. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Magnify his holy name. Celebrate his hand upon this church. We appreciate you, Jesus. We thank you, mighty Father. You are the God of growth. You are the God of increase. We acknowledge you mightily this morning. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Magnify his holy name. Celebrate him, the King of glory. Lord, we thank you and we thank you for the continuous growth of this church over the years. No single year of decline. No moment of regret. Because your hand, because of your hand, we worship you, King of glory. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we have given thanks. Put your hand together for Jesus and take your seat. Heaven and earth. Shortly, we are going to be rising up to pray, lifting up uh, the apostle over this commission and his family unto the able hands of Jehovah God for protection. The psalmist says in Psalm 125, verse 2, he said, As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth, even forever. As we rise up, we're going to be praying, Father, protect the apostle over this commission and his family all through the year 2015 and beyond. I know you would like to pray that prayer. Why not join us? We rise up this morning, lift up your voice to heaven and begin to pray. Lift up your voice to heaven. Pray passionately from your heart. Pray with faith and confidence. Pray with expectation. Lift up your voice and ask the Lord to protect the apostle over this commission. Bishop David Oedekwa and his family. All through the year 2015 and beyond in the name of Jesus. Is God hearing the sound of a voice? Father, protect the apostle over this commission and his family all through the year 2015 and beyond in the name of Jesus. Shield them from the attacks of the enemy. Shield them from the attacks of the enemy. Preserve them from the arrows of the wicked. Ensure that God is hearing the sound of your voice. Remember, as you pray for your spiritual fathers, you are praying for yourself. Lift up your voice and pray. As they go out and come in, Lord, protect and preserve them. 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 Lord, shield them from the attacks of the evil one. Shield them from the attacks of the evil one. Protect them from unreasonable men and women. Is somebody praying at all? Lift up your voice and pray. Father, protect the apostle over this commission and his family all through the year 2015 and beyond. Father, protect and preserve. Protect and preserve the apostle over this family and his family. Over this commission and his family. Lord, all through the year 2015 in the name of Jesus. Lord, shield them from the attacks of the enemy. Shield them from the plans of the wicked one. Lord, see to it that every gathering of the wicked against them shall not prosper. Is somebody praying at all? Ensure that God is hearing the sound of your voice. Father, we lift up the apostle over this commission and his family unto your able hands for protection and preservation. For protection and preservation. Is somebody praying at all? For protection and preservation. All through the year 2015. Ensure that they are going at his blessed. Ensure that they are coming in his blessed. In the name of Jesus. Father, see to it that no arrow of the wicked will prosper concerning them in the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying at all? Lift up your voice to heaven and for protection and preservation of the apostle over this commission and his family all through 2015 and beyond. Father, let it be. Father, let it be. Father, let it be. Father, let it be. Protect them from unreasonable men and women. 
For all people that don't have faith, according to your word, Lord, protect them. Lord, preserve them. Lord, ensure that your cancer concerning this family stands every day in the name of Jesus. Lord, let it be. Lord, let it be. Protect them. Preserve them. Ensure that whatever they do prospers. As they go out, they are blessed. They bless. Father, let it be. Somebody, oh, lift up your voice to heaven and begin to magnify his name. Lift up your voice to heaven and begin to give him praise. Lift up your voice to heaven and begin to appreciate him. Because we serve a prayer answering God. Father, we thank you. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. It is done. Put those hands together for Jesus as you take your seat. Heaven on earth. Romans chapter 6 verse 14. The Bible says, For sin shall not have dominion over you. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. We'll be drawing strength from that scripture to pray, saying, Father, endue every winner with the powers of the world to come, thereby establishing our dominion over sin. I'm sure someone would like to pray that prayer. Join me, rise up to your feet, and let's lift up our voices to heaven, saying, Father, endue every winner with the powers of the world to come, thereby establishing our dominion over sin. Your word has clearly laid the foundation for the life we should live. Your word says, for sin shall not have dominion, not may not, shall not have dominion over us. Lord, therefore, we are praying that scripture into reality. But we know that in the energy of the flesh, we shall not be able to accomplish that scripture. That's why we are asking, Father, for a release of the powers of the world to come that will cause us to be established in dominion over sin. Someone lift up your voice to heaven and let's pray this all-important prayer. Lord God Almighty, nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth short, having the seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his. Therefore, let no, they that name the name of the Lord Lord, depart from iniquity. Lord, it requires the powers of the world to come for us, Lord Almighty, to walk in dominion over sin. And that's why, as one man, we lift up our voices today, asking that you endure every winner with the powers of the world to come, thereby establishing our dominion over sin. Lord Almighty, sin shall not have any dominion over us any longer. Father, endure every winner with the powers of the world to come thereby establishing our dominion over sin for we are not under the law but under grace lord almighty let your grace be released that will cause every winner lord almighty to walk in dominion over sin lift up your voices to heaven let's cry out to the lord let's call on god father we Ask, oh God, for an endowment with the powers of the world to come upon every winner to ensure that we walk in dominion over sin every single day of our lives, oh God Almighty. Let it be that by the release, by the endowment of every winner with the powers of the world to come, we shall all be established in dominion over sin. Lift up your voices to heaven. Pray in your understanding. Pray in the language of the Holy Ghost. Let's call on God. Who is our helper. Let's call on God. Who is able to make us walk in dominion. Over sin. By the achievement of every winner. With the powers of the world. To come. And sure the Lord is hearing your voice. Let's place a demand on the throne of grace. Let's call on our God. Who is able to make this. A reality. For he said, walk thou before me and be thou perfect. He said, be ye holy. Even as I, your father, am holy. He will not be asking us to do what is impossible by any means. Therefore, father, we are asking, and you every winner with the powers of the world to come, thereby establishing our dominion over sin. Are you praying this prayer? 
Lift up your voice to heaven. Let's call on God. Let's call on God. The thrice holy God. The one who created us in his image. And after his likeness. The one who engraced Jesus to be able to say the prince of this world cometh and he findeth nothing in me. Lift up your voice. It says of Enoch, he walked with God and he was not. Ah, Lord Almighty, we are calling on you to, this morning and we are saying, Father, and you every winner with the powers of the world to come, thereby establishing our dominion over sin. Are you praying? Lift up your voice. Let's call on God. Lift up your voice. Let's call on our Father. Lift up your voice. Let's receive the endowment of the powers of the world to come to ensure that every one winner walks in dominion over sin. Lord Almighty, we need your help. Lift up your hands to heaven and give him thanks. Our prayers have been answered. Magnify the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty, matchless name we have prayed. Please, you may be seated. heaven on earth it is testimony time please if you hear your name I want you to just quickly rush out and share your testimony with the brethren sister Tracy Esu while we're waiting for her let us just take this written testimony tag supernatural turnaround heaven on earth greetings to you in Jesus name so this is to testify to the goodness of God in my life and my family as a result of connecting to the Covenant Hour of Prayer online from Cape Town, South Africa. On the 13th of April, 2015, God's servant, Bishop David Oyedeko, said during the church session that we should be expectant for the visitation of our resurrected Lord with infallible proofs. My wife and I agreed to pray for a change of level in our career and academics. God visited us and gave us a miracle job worth about three times of my current salary and two academic awards at the University of Cape Town Postgraduate Research Expo 2015. We return all the glory to the God of winners for instant answers to our prayers and fulfillment of the prophetic declarations of 2015 in my family. Praise the Lord. Mr. and Mrs. Olaleye, University of Cape Town, South Africa. Put your hands together. Please come forward to share your testimony. Tell us what God has done for you on this covenant hour of prayer. Your name and what God has done. Okay. My name is Tracy Isu and heaven on earth greetings in Jesus' name. I attended the recently concluded Wolf B, April special 2015. To the glory of God, I am now a graduate of BCC. <laughs> During the course of the program, I engaged God in prayer and fasting. My request was to gain admission into Houston Baptist University in Texas, USA. This was also my major prayer request during our covenant hour of prayer. On Tuesday, the 14th of April, I received an email informing me of my acceptance into the school. <laughs> However, on Friday the 17th, I received another email giving details about the fees, which amounted to a total of $200,000, which is about 40 million naira for the entire duration of my study. On Tuesday, the 21st of April, as I was preparing for the covenant hour of prayer, I received another email from the same school congratulating me for the award of a scholarship, which I did not even apply for, which I did not even apply for. Instead of me paying $200,000, which is 40 million naira, I'm now to pay only $24,000, which is 4.8 million naira. This stroke of divine favor has saved me a total of $176,000, which is about 35.2 million naira. To add to this, the university being a private university rarely gives out scholarships. This is why I'm convinced that the God of this covenant hour of prayer is behind this. All the glory to the God of this commission. Thank you. Hallelujah. She said God gave us another blessing that she did not apply for. What you did not pray for, plus the one you pray for, God is going to be giving it to you. Put your hands together for the Lord. Shall we lift up our two hands and bless the name of the Lord? 
Thank you, Jesus. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please be seated. Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. A prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet, upon Shigenoth. O Lord, I've heard thy speech and was afraid. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known thy power. In wrath, remember mercy. What is in praying for revival? As we have often said, every move of God that we are a part of moves us forward. And then we saw Habakkuk in verse 17. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, chapter 3, verse 17, neither shall fruit be in the vines. He said, the labor of the olive shall fall, or shall fail, and the fig shall not yield, shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the vine, and there shall be no herd in the stores. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. When you are a part of it, things don't seem to be happening around you. But he said, because you are a part of a revival, get set for advancement. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And the Lord God will become my strength because they go from strength to strength. Every one of them is Zion appearing before God. He will make my feet like I feet and he will be, make me to walk upon my high places. Everyone that's a part of the move of God, he moves them upwards. He moves them forward. He enlarges their coast. It's important for us to understand the times that we are in. Without any doubt, God has signaled a spiritual awakening through the covenant hour of prayers. But we will make the most of it. By ensuring that we are a part of advancing his kingdom through prayers. O oh Lord, revive thy work in our midst. Put the enemy out of the scene. Start doing a new thing amongst your people. Ignite a new spiritual fire in every heart. Lord, turn everyone to an ark of testimony. Jesus, stir up a new prayer grace upon your people. Lord, destroy the hold of sin. Bring your people to a new realm spiritually. Awake everyone out of their sleep. Lord, do what only you can do. Now, you see, it's so important for us to know when Jesus taught us to pray. He said, as you pray, you say, Our Father, which art in heaven, our Lord be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. The kingdom is our number one priority in prayers. Praying for the well-being, praying for the enlargement, praying for the advancement of the kingdom of God. Praying for revivals in the body of Christ. And when you seek that first, 
He said, all these things that others are dying to get, they shall be added to you. We are in the day of his power. That's why his people are awake early in the morning. You are not waiting for anybody. They are already seated. Why? Because thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness. From the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. Psalm 110 and verse 3. The reason we are, take, we are catching up with the dew of the morning is because we are in the day of his power. Something is about bursting forth. Amen. And blessed be God, this is one of the platforms from where it will burst forth. Something is about bursting forth that will lead to your own strange advancement. Lead to your own strange liftings. Something is about bursting forth. And blessed be God, this is one of the platforms God has chosen to bring about this outburst. May you remain a part of this. I had a testimony of one of us who is 91, has not missed one covenant hour of prayer. The facility that we use there is on the third floor. And he climbs the three floors every morning. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness. From the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. Empowerment comes along with the dew of the morning. As the dew upon Mount Ammon. You remember the story? How good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity? Psalm 133. It's like the ointment upon the head of Aaron that flowed down his beers. He said, As the dew descended upon the mountains of Zion, empowerment is tied to Ali, our seeking of God. Oh my God, Ali, will I seek thee? My soul thirsted for thee. And my flesh longed for thee in the dry and thirsty land to see thy power. So when you see a people hunting after God early in the morning, it's a signal that we're in the day of his power. And I can tell you, this is the hour when God's people shall begin to rule in the midst of their enemies. It's important for us to be conversant with the sin that we're in. We are in a strange season of the empowerment of the church that will lead to the supernatural advancement of everyone that's a partaker of it. So as you remain a genuine partaker of this outburst that has just started, hear me, amazing things, things you never asked for, that my daughter shared the testimony I never asked for. They said, congratulations for the scholarship that you applied for. It has been approved. I never applied for. They are simply added because it's a covenant keeping God. So as you engage passionately in moving the kingdom of God forward, you are moving your life forward. Every time you engage in pushing anything, you are moving along with the thing. So when you are pushing the kingdom, you are pushing the kingdom forward. You are advancing your own destiny. We'll be hearing humbling testimonies that not only the sharers will be crying, will be crying for joy that see God in the midst of his people. He said, for the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, he will deliver. He will rejoice over you with singing. Sephaniah chapter 3 and verse 17. So as we are a part of advancing this kingdom, just like that ark rested in the house of Obedidon for three months. How many months? Okay, give Jesus three months. Three months of passionate engagement in advancing his kingdom. Three months of praying. God's presence in the midst of his people and manifesting himself in diverse manners. Three months. And then the kind of blessings that steered the king into jealousy landed in the house of Abedidom. Something that the world has never had before is about taking place in your own life. 
So get excited. Don't let it be only personal supplication. When we are dishing out prayer items for the kingdom, you are there on the ground. You are even giving part of those your time in advancing the kingdom. And what you have in return is supernatural advancement. Everyone praying for revival ends up in his high places. That's the conclusion. Everyone genuinely praying for revival ends up in his high places. He said, it shall make me to walk upon my high places because I'm praying revival down on the earth. I'm praying revival down on the earth. So it's your privilege to keep praying the ad- God empower your church. Lord empower the men and the brethren in the house of God. Lord empower us into next levels. Empower us into our heavenly places. Empower us to manifest the reality of heaven on earth. That's so important. It is not for fun. It is for your advancement. Seek ye first. And the word seek is also part of the prayer thing that we talk about. Ask, you shall receive. Seek, you shall find. And knock, the door shall be opened unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things that others are dying to get, they shall be added unto you. Rise to your feet. Glory to God. So, you have a personal responsibility to advance your destiny by advancing the kingdom of God through prayers and intercessions and every other opportunity that opens up to you. Lift up your two hands and give God thanks for showing you the blessedness of standing in the gap for the kingdom of God. The blessedness of praying revivers down in the midst of God's people. Lift up those hands and thank God for it. And receive grace to take advantage of it. Receive grace. Receive grace to take advantage of it. As you stand in his presence, he empowers you day in, day out, into next levels until you arrive in your higher places. Yes, God is empowering me into my higher places as I begin to pray and cry out for the advancement of his kingdom. Pray the Bible down to the church. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, please listen, I have heard from God. There is a spiritual outburst in the offering. Something is about bursting forth in our midst. The kind that the world has never seen before. It will result in the kind of lifting never found in history. As God's people commit themselves and engage themselves in advancing the kingdom of God, we begin to experience supernatural advancement, the kind the world has never had. So please know, it is far beyond bread and butter platform. It's a platform for stirring spiritual awakening. It's a platform for stirring revival in the land. We are in that strange hour. And God's people have demonstrated it by their willingness. The willingness of the saints is a proof that we are in that day of power. Lift up those two hands. Give God thanks. In Jesus' precious name. Get seated, please. heaven on earth right now it's time for personal supplication praise God we've received the word of the Lord and we're going to be putting that into practice remember it's a duty to take personal responsibility it's an opportunity right now we shall be advancing our destiny as we take advantage of the dew of the morning. Today is Monday, the first day of the week. God's presence is mighty in this place. What are those issues of your life right now that you must return home with today with testimony? Remember, you are not just praying into the future. You are praying the prayer that God must answer now. Answer when? Answer when? Louder yet, answer when? God will answer you today. Please rise up on your feet right now. If you will take your prayer notebook in your hand 
and begin to pour out your soul unto God. You have just few minutes to do that this morning. Take advantage of the dew of the morning today. Take advantage of the dew of the morning today. Begin to advance your destiny. Begin to advance your destiny in prayer. You are praying the prayer that God must answer now. You are praying the prayer that God must answer today. Give us this day our daily bread. Make sure that God is hearing your voice. Lift up your voice and pray intensely. Pray fervently. Pray from the depth of your heart. The prayer that God must answer today. The prayer that God must answer now. Don't put your prayer into the future. Today is that day that you must return with your own testimony. Make sure you are praying from the depth of your heart. Take advantage of the dew of the morning today. Pour out your soul. Jesus is here because of you today. You must return today with your own testimony. Pour out your soul unto God. Cry unto him. Don't keep quiet. Take advantage. Take advantage of this moment to advance your destiny. Take advantage of this moment. Lift up your voice. Pour out your soul. Make sure God is hearing your voice. Pray in the spirit. Pray in your understanding. Pray fervently unto God. Five more minutes to go. Cry unto God. You cannot afford to return today the same way you came. You must return with your answers. You must return with your testimony. Your story must change for the better. Take advantage of the deal of the money today. Cry unto God. Pour out your soul. Lift up your voice like blind Bartimaeus did. Jesus, thou son of David.
David, have mercy upon me. Advance your destiny right now through prayers. Two more minutes to go. Time is running out. Pour out your soul. Cry unto God. You must return today. Today, not tomorrow. You must return today with your testimony. You must return today with your testimony. You must return today with your testimony. Cry unto God. Time is running out today. This day is ordained for your testimony. Let's begin to give God praise. Please rise up on your feet now, everyone. Begin to thank God. Begin to praise Him. Begin to magnify His name from the depth of your heart. He that giveth thanks in the Spirit, doeth it well. Thank Him now in the Spirit from the depth of your heart. You are confident God has had and answered you. Thank Him, thank Him, thank Him. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you for answered prayers, for change of levels, for change of story. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. I'm returning today with my testimony, and I give you all the praise, and I give you all the glory. I give you praise and glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. You are returning today with your testimonies. If you are confident of that, let your amen be the loudest. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for the Lord. I prayed and I prayed. Lord Jesus answered me. I prayed. I prayed. I prayed and I prayed. Lord Jesus answered me, if this were with my soul, if this were with my soul, I pray, 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 I
Please let's be seated comfortably and let's listen to this special announcement again on recounting the testimony of the mandate. Praise the Lord. The liberation mandate turns 34. Come and let us celebrate the faithfulness of God as the liberation mandate, the vision that gave birth to the Living Faith Church Worldwide, also known as Winners Chapel International, and all its affiliates such as the Word of Faith Bible Institute, Kingdom Heritage and Faith Academy Group of Schools, Covenant University, Landmark University, among others, clocks 34 this week, Saturday, the 2nd of May, 2015. <laughs> to the glory of God, the following has been our testimony as a commission. 34 years of sweatless triumph. 34 years of ever-increasing revelations. 34 years of growing impact. 34 years of crisis-free ministry. 34 years of ever-increasing growth. 34 years of unending supplies, 34 years of diverse miracles, signs, and wonders, 34 years of undeniable proofs in all aspects of the ministry, 34 years of no setbacks, 34 years of grace and glory. Come and partake in the reenactment of the liberation mandate as all of the above become your personal experience in this prophetic service, which, as we have been told, comes up on Saturday the 2nd of May, 2015, by 6 a.m. Because God shall be revalidating the, the mandate through diverse impartations, miracles, signs, and wonders. To God alone be all the glory. Jesus is Lord. Shall we rise to our feet and put our hands together for Jesus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every grace of God you truly covet, you are entitled to assess. He said, honestly covet the best gift. Honestly covet the best gift. If there's any aspect of this mandate that is of utmost interest to you, it is your covenant right to assess it. Because he's the one who said, honestly, covet the best gift. In fact, the man, Elijah said, I want double of the spirit upon you. And he got it. Honestly, covet the best gift. I saw some grace upon Egan. I said, Lord, I want it. And by his grace, I got it. I saw some grace upon Kenneth Copeland. I said, Lord, I want it. And I got it. We slept on the bed one day and I said, Lord, whatever is in Copeland. Eh? Who once slept on this bed must come alive and all. And in the night, God showed up and he came. Anything you truly covet, any grace of God you truly covet is available. It's accessible. 
It's obtainable. It's manifestable. Any grace you truly covet. Saturday will soon be here. Lord, I desire to become a partaker of the grace upon this commission. Go ahead and pray. I desire to be a partaker. I want to experience the reality of sweatless triumph. I want to experience the reality of unending supplies. I want to experience the reality of signs and wonders, miracles without end. I desire to be a partaker of the grace of God that is evident in this commission. Lord, I desire. I'm not satisfied being a member of this church. I want to be a partaker of the grace that is evident upon this commission. These last 24 years, no setbacks. No more setbacks for me in my life. No more going backward for me. Forward ever, backward never. Jesus, I desire that grace of grace and glory. In Jesus precious name we have prayed. In Philippians 1 7 Paul speaking to them he said ye are all partakers of my grace. Ye are all partakers of my grace. Ye are all partakers of my grace. I'm sure you can see the kingdom of God as the priority in this ministry. How many can see that? Oh, you want to be saved? Stand up now. You want to dedicate your life to Christ? Stand up now. Jesus, thank you for your manifest presence in our midst. Have we ever prayed on a project here in this church? Oh God, this project that's going on. Hey, arise. Wake up. And yet, Projects are going on without sweat in billions of naira. Year in, year out. Revive thy work, oh God, in the midst of the year. In the midst of the year, make known thy power. And he says, if you do that, your everlasting mountains will clear up. Your perpetual hills will be leveled. And then you find your way to your high places. Every grace that is making things to work in this commission. It's your portion this week. Yeah. Now, beginning from this morning, begin to manifest your own anniversary package. Yeah. It's coming on you right now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Can I ask you something? If you will only try this. Every passing day, give Jesus 30 minutes of praying for the advancement of his kingdom. In your private time. Watch the impact on your life. The impact on your health. The impact on your mind. Everyone that is not a partaker of that advancement hardly experiences it in their own life. You heard me talk about mountain here this time, mountain here that time. There was not one I went to pray for car, pray for house, pray for clothes. Not one, sir. Not one, sir. He's not a respectable person. You so sparingly, you reap sparingly, you reap, you so bountifully, you reap bountifully. So engage in advancing the ark of God in the midst of his people. And watch how he advances your life. Somebody is blessed. How many will try that? Amen. Lord, I'm giving you 30 minutes of each day in praying down your manifest presence in the midst of your people. In tearing up a wave of revival, the kind we have never seen. I can see a cloud coming that you come down in the morning and you almost are talking life, life to angels because they have, they have descended in the midst of his people. Can I hear your amen? You are in for the best of time. This is going to be your best week to date. Everything is falling into place in your life. This is declared your best week till date. Everything is answering in your favor. Your spiritual life is advancing forcefully. You are changing level in your work with God. And in the same way, you are experiencing God's hand in every of your endeavors. 
today is declared a day of testimonies. What you didn't ask for will be added to you. In the name of Jesus. Every hold of the wicked on any aspect of your life is broken right now. Every siege on your life is declared over right now. Today is your day of change of levels. So shall it be. Thank you, Father. Lift up those two hands together. Let's share the goodness of the Lord in fellowship. Surely, God's mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall join the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Heaven on earth. And wonders without end. Give that salutation to someone next to you there. That's my new realm and your new realm. Congratulations. Your testimony is following you right now. Congratulations. Your testimony is following you right now.